our immediate right streets, folks. We're going to line right up with the great streets. Pass it along, gentlemen. They should be fine. Okay. All set there, Gary. Perfect. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Chris, you and the other ladies like to have a seat or anyone else in your family? No. Folks, move right in under the tent. I know it's warm, and at least they'll get you out of the sun for now, okay? Okay. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear these words from the Old Testament. God's faithful servant Job said, Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. That they were engraved on a rock with an iron pen and lead forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he shall stand on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know that in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold and not another. How my heart yearns within me. Let us pray. Merciful Father and Lord of life, with whom live the spirits of those who depart in the faith, we thank you for the blessings of body and soul that you have granted this departed brother whose earthly remains we now lay to rest. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, both living and departed, that we shall be raised from death at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Apostle Paul writes to the Thessalonians, But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive who are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. We now commit the body of our brother Martin to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly bodies so they will be like his glorious body by the power that enables him to subdue all things to himself. May God the Father, who created this body, May God the Son, who by his blood redeemed this body. May God the Holy Spirit, who by holy baptism sanctified this body to be his temple, keep these remains to the day of the resurrection of all flesh. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you destroyed death. By his rest in the tomb, you sanctified the graves of all your saints. And by his bodily resurrection, you brought life and immortality to light, so that all who die in him abide in peace and hope. Receive our thanks for the victory over death and the grave that he won for us. Keep us in everlasting communion with all who wait for him on earth and with all in heaven who are with him. For he is the resurrection and the life, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Let us go forth in peace in the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.
this does conclude the services for Martin. And again, thank you all for coming out today. Um, as you're all meeting back at the church, uh, pass on some of those good memories that you have. I'm sure there's plenty. And uh, if you think the family's heard them before, chances are they might not have. So even if they have, repeat them. Okay. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for coming out today. And the gentleman that helped out too. And the two clergy, thank you so much. And young lady, thank you so much. <laughs> I offered her to drive to her, but she declined. So. <laughs> um, again, thank you so much. This does, does conclude the service.